Okay, I haven't done one of these for quite a while, but Leslie Jordan was such an interesting uh, person. Very sweet, very nice person. Um, I got to meet him when I was living in Los Angeles. And uh, just a very genuine, nice, nice guy. So I wanted to pull the cards and see what he had to say about being on the other side. And it was very interesting. What I got was he was in awe. In awe. When it came to the strong ideology, the mental ideology about the deceptive things in some of the churches. Okay, so, um, you know, what we have with a lot of the churches that they are so uh, anti-gay and just um, give people such a bad time. So, uh, again, he's in awe when he got to the other side and found the truth, the strong truth about what's actually there. And going into it, he said it was the compass now of coming to balance. The compass was going towards balance uh, and looking at the hard-won lessons that he had and that um, the choices that you made when you look at your life review, the judgment, and, and cutting, cutting through um, at, at uh, looking at, again, just your choices that you made in life. And so you do the life review, and um, it's not condemnation, it's not that type of judgment, but it's the type of judgment of just evaluating the things that you've done in life and then coming to a balance again um, before you take your next cycle. But I thought that's quite interesting that he found out you know, that some of these harsh rhetorics that are in some of these churches that are, you know, uh, so condemn, condemnation with a lot of condemnation. And so he was in awe on the other side of the reality of things versus, you know, the fallacies that these churches were putting in there. And then again, on the other side, you get to review the things that you've done in life and you learn your difficult lessons. And then you are there to, again, come to more balance. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that here 